bros! Oh my word, it's Thursday again. Sorry guys, one quick second here. That went way too quiet. How's that? A bit better? Hi guys, sorry, one very quick moment, I'm so sorry. Hi everybody. Why is it so loud? Why is my di my voice so loud? Let's try that. Hello. Hi. Hi. Happy Thursday, everybody. How's it going? What's happening? I was running like kind of like a chicken with his head cut off for a little bit there. <sighs> Hi guys. Happy. Happy. Oh, hold on. It's still too quiet. Sorry, guys. How's your week? My week's been pretty good. Pretty good. Day's been pretty good as well. How about you guys? What's been happening? What's been happening? Fill me in. Let me know. I'm so sorry guys, I need like two minutes here. Give me two minutes. In fact, we're gonna, yeah, sorry guys, just give me two minutes here. Yes, Susie. Okay, guys, let's catch up here. Sorry. We're starting over. We're starting over. This is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. It's not actually that embarrassing. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. Hi. Happy Thursday, everybody. How's it going? Let's restart from the top. From the top. We're just going to actually restart from the top real quick. Three, two, one. Boom. There's the intro. Here it comes. And then... Hi everyone! Hey, hey, hey! There we go. There we go. Hi guys. How's it going? We got some Danger by Design music popping in. Uh, great to see everyone here. Uh, Commentars. Yeah, Danger by Design the music is from. Second Chance. Yes, exactly, Rachel. Exactly. Yeah, we're chilling out here. We've got the old hot apple cider and it's hot and full of hot apple cider so we're gonna let that cool down for a little bit but oh Eric don't apologize man do not apologize at all life gets in the way life finds a way gonna lurk and give a baby her bath oh little Alex so sweet I love it Kalina well thank you for being here thank you all for being here on this fine Thursday it's great I love that I can like stream now and it's still bright out for a bit that's amazing. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, tonight we're playing Tomb of the Lost Queen. But we're not just playing Tomb of the Lost Queen. Tomb of the Lost Queen. We're playing the Tomb of the Lost Queen beta. So this is an unfinished version of the game. This is a version of the game that has missing art, missing sounds. I think. Um, yeah, it's 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 an unfinished version. So it's it's very uh, it's very different. Not very different, but there's, there are definitely some differences, and like the, the differences start pretty much right off the bat with um, 
with the, the game icon. So if we pop to here, this is the, the general game icon that the game shipped with. This is the beta icon right here. It's a little hard to see. I can't really get you much better of a picture there, but I guess I could probably do this. And do that, and then... Let's see what, can I zoom in? Can I not zoom in? Whatever, I'll just save it to the old desktop there. And then we'll just pop to here. It's not where I actually wanted to go. Uh, view on details. That's not what I wanted to do either. There we go. That's what I'm wanting. That's what I'm wanting. Yeah, so this is the beta version right here, is this funky little dude. And this is the shipped one right here, is the uh, the classic one. So, Morgan, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Um, My trip is coming up soon? Queen Mound, might I ask what trip you are referring to? But uh, you're just chilling. I'm, I've been good. I've been doing really good. Thank you. Susie! Um. Uh, oh, you watched Wizard Kid and play Dredge Tuesday night. How is that? Right on, Nerdy Geek Gamer. Wait, I ignore you, bestie. Dude, I said, Susie, welcome. How's it going? Oh, did you... Or did, or did you say something earlier that I missed? Because if you did, I'm so sorry. Nah, bro, what's up? What's happening? Um... Oh! Oh, sorry, I'm seeing something else. Oh my word, I completely misread something. Oh, never mind. No, never mind. Sorry, guys. I'm completely distracted here. There we go. Uh, late again, Jenny Taylor. We started just a couple minutes ago. You are hardly late at all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're playing the Tomb of the Lost Queen beta tonight, guys. We're having uh, having a bit of fun doing our thing, as we do. Before we actually start, though, I do have a couple announcements. Um, I want to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing before I dive into the announcements. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there is. All right, we're gonna dive into the announcements, and then we'll uh, we'll dive into the game as we do, because that's just how we do it. Uh, where is this and that? Boom. Okay, first off, I've never actually played this beta before. I've obviously played Tomb of the Lost Queen, but I've never played, uh, when is your stream going to be on the first? What day is the first? Oh, on Mon- oh! Great question, Livy Bird. I actually have no idea. In fact, Kalina, if you're still here, we need to- we need to talk about, uh, about April 1st. Definitely. Um, I haven't done any planning for that at all. Like, at all. At all. The, the planning I've done is that I want to do a giveaway and that I want to stream. And at some point, stream with Kalina. That's all that I have... Uh, that's all that I have planned. Haven't thought any more about it. Much more than that. Um, yeah, I've never played this before, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen with... How the game, how stable the game is. I don't know how it's gonna look. I know that the user interface is different, but that's 
that's about it. So I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Uh, it's going to be super exciting to view it all with you guys. Um, next, next, I have some new merch. Oh, and I'll write one more thing here. Um... Yeah, we've got new merch, new merch in chat, because the other day I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to put up all the designs that I have not put up yet, and that's it. So, new designs, chilling in the store. We've got, uh, yeah, there's, there's a few good ones here. I'm, I'm rather excited about these ones. So this one, Ominous Omniscient, if you played the Shattered Medallion, you'll hopefully recognize this one. Um, I just, I think it's cool. I think it's kind of, oh, it's going to do this to me. I think it's kind of neat. The classic amusement park artist just hanging out, ready to be painted on. Uh, Honi Awa, I think this one is rather cute as well, just for fun. Uh, Blubba Gum, again, just for fun, something chill. Um... Tories in chat, ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday to Tori. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy birthday, Tori. Can we get some happy birthdays in chat for Tori? Because it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Tori. So great to have you here, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a splendid day today. So great to see you. DIY splatter shirt. Exactly right. Uh, we've got the rainbow binary. We've got the white binary and the black binary. And so these do differ slightly from the original design because they have uh, solidified circles as well as open circles. So these are, in this case, my design. And uh, yeah, I just like black and white and colorful. And so these are available in obviously a variety of different uh, designs. For some reason, I don't know, does this happen to you guys where if you're like scrolling through spring too long? Like, it just will stop showing images for everything. Like, does that happen to anyone else, or is it just me? Because it drives me nuts! Uh, we got the Worldwide Sleuth merch. So this was kind of based off of Hitman. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's kind of based... So if we go, like, uh, Hitman 2016. I kind of was inspired by, by this uh, right here. I thought this was... I love Hitman, and so I was just like, let's just do... Sleuth. I think that could be kind of cute. And so we did Sleuth. Uh, and then finally the skull, which it's not really... It's really just giving me absolute pain right now. But actually we could... Hold on. Yeah. Kind of give it, or give you the idea there. Anyways, that's, uh, that's what we got. We got the skull in black and white uh, as well. But yeah, new merch. New merch is up. Go check it out. Uh, I'm not sure if and when I'll be adding more merch to the Teespring store for a while. I've got more plans for like actual like cool stuff rather than t-shirts and cups and bags and stuff. So as of right now, all the designs that are on Teespring are going to be the only designs that I'll be having up for a while. I'm not going to be adding anything new. I've got no plans to add, to add anything new. So yeah, but there's new stuff coming. New, new, like, neat stuff coming, I will say. Uh, we're gonna go back to here. And, oh yeah, that was the other thing. I just had to laugh, and I don't want to do this to be mean. I just have to bring it up because I just thought it was, like, kind of funny. Um, Her Interactive put out a press release a few days ago. Like, six days ago, about a week ago. And they just up... Uh, uploaded it to their website. So it's just chilling out here now under the About Us News section. So I mentioned this in my video that they haven't updated this since 2020, but now it's here, which is great. And I just had to giggle. I had to giggle because, 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 because here we are sitting in 2024. And back in like 2011 or 2012, they, you know, this particular number of 9 million copies They've been saying that number for the last, like, 12 years. And it could be true. They might not have cracked 10 million copies yet. I've got no idea. I've got no clue. No idea. But, it's been the same number for a long time. And then I read a little bit further. 
just a little bit further. And notice that this is 2019 and not 2024. And I was just like, oh. So that's, that's interesting. That's fascinating, right? So anyways, that's, that's all that I wanted to say. That's all that I care to say, but either way, it's, it's up here now. Just, just chilling out as it is. It is a manual entry clean. Exactly. Yeah. This is, it's just a little, like, it's not a big deal, but I just had to giggle. I just had to laugh and that's, that's all it was. So. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm sorry guys, I need to just, just take care of one quick thing, just gonna take care of one, one, one quick thing. And I'll be right back. We're gonna just gonna no. Nope. Uh, we're gonna go to here for just a minute. Everything is fine. I promise. I'm just. I just need to be not distracted for a little bit. So just give me one quick second. All right, we're back. We are all good. Hi, guys. Brigella, welcome to the stream. Jack, welcome to the stream. Andy Crafts, welcome to the stream. Oh, my word, lives in chat too. Ladies and gentlemen, holy smokes. How is everyone doing? It's so great to see y'all. Uh, working and watching right on Marie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who's got allergies that are kicking butt right now? Dude, I'm so sorry. We, It's like two snowy and cold here still for allergies but we're I'm sure we'll get there soon enough but um yeah hi guys what am I up to I am I'm getting ready to play this game bro are you ready you guys ready we're gonna I think finally play a bit of Tomb of the Lost Queen the beta so this is gonna be really interesting I'm super super duper excited about this and I can't wait for this you guys ready? How stoked are y'all right at this very, mo very this very minute to play some Tomb of the Lost Queen? Here we go. Dare to play. Not nap time. I'm sorry. It's 
Look at that. No fade in, it's just there. It just exists. So if you haven't noticed already, it's the, the UI is a little bit different. And you'll, not you'll notice that even more when I open a menu here. For instance, this is completely different. This is completely different. This is completely different. This is very different. <laughs> uh, this is very, very empty. And I just won't click that. But there's no music. So that's interesting too. So it's great. I'm so excited. I, I cannot wait to see how things go with this. The only beta uh, tested game you pre-ordered before it came out was Diablo 4. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Right, Liv? I know. It's so cool. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this on Amateur uh, Amateurs. I, I legitimately have not seen anything beyond this. So we're going to click Amateur Sleuth, and whatever happens beyond this, no clue. Let's dive in. Oh, okay, so we've got to read it ourselves. Oh, anyways. A British expedition set off in hope of uh, finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. Until today. And here we are. A hundred kilometers outside Cairo, Kingston University digs site KU-67. is going on bros what <laughs> Nancy what have I missed? Oh he looks so different Not much everyone's still getting settled in Good for years I pictured what it would be like to finally find what? the lost queen and at no point this is did mad. I picture myself in a hospital bed I'm just glad you're okay about that Oh it's so interesting and weird what? Docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. What's the evidence? I was struck twice in the back of the head with a similar amount of force. The chance of that happening? Was that in the final Next game? To zero. So that dialogue was that in the final game? Attacked you. Why would anyone do that? I'm known to run a tight ship. No one steals, no one cheats. It's not exactly a popular position. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. When will that be? As soon as they release as me. As soon as they release until me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. Get caught up to speed. Can do. I need you to stay safe. Keep everything you find between you and me. So interesting. Like, we're like five minutes in. And everything feels so different. The medical team is here. I'd better go. Take care. Don't go accusing anyone of attacking me. It's too risky. I'd better get going. Bye. Bye. Oh, my word. It just looks different, bro. It's like empty and weird. A little chill. Okay, this looks about the same. So that's Great. all right. I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. Oh. Is this supposed to be empty? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Whoa! There you can see <laughs> uh different like lighting and coloring and stuff. That's brilliant. The old overlay. <laughs> that's great! That's great. Yeah, exactly uh, like McClunky. I never expect that. And then when it shows up, I'm just like, what? Oh, look at that. A couple, like, 
Um, even the jacket's untextured. Oh, it's so interesting. Whoa, you cannot go back there. Hi, Nancy. Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? I'll answer that for you. No, you cannot. Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is. Yeah, the music is super quiet, isn't it? But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working in totally chaos. Out of Professor Boyle's Have you plane. met the clue crew? Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. I better get going. See you. Hmm. Yeah, this is a rectangle and not a not a circle thing. So it's that's also another keen little difference there. Oh, there's no noise. Oh, that's so weird. An untextured lighter. Let's go. Everything's untextured. That is brilliant. Like, yeah, nice. Part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Cool. Now, I don't really want to play it, but I want to see this if, game looks if cool. this is any different than Can the we play? final yes. game. The goal is to get all of your pieces mm. off the board first. When a no, token reaches same. the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. And we just I have to do it. Okay. Two. Well, what does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. Can't do that. Oops. If you throw a one, four, or five, move a token and then throw the sticks again. If no moves are available, the player skips. Hey, Maggie, welcome to the stream. Enjoy the your three. lurk. So I'll move my token Excuse three spaces. Me. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, each with their own name and design. The square with the onk is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back the to the house square of waters. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. Uh, I th oh, I think I'm good, but that's okay. Thanks, Lily. Very, very kind. See, this all looks about the same here. Yeah, it looks about normal to me. Nice. All right. Things are good. This looks like a map of the site. Now, I can't remember. Was this... I thought this was, like, more filled in in the final version, but maybe I'm wrong. Cool. Ancient Egyptian phone charms. I was hoping those existed. Um... Uh, Amy, that's totally fair. Yeah, it makes, makes a lot of sense, for sure. The House of Waters, where the plumbing is better than it sounds. <laughs> right? Oh, mate. Okay. That's alright. That's looking good. Okay. My dictionary could help translate that. Where is, is that? It? Yeah. Judges he by the ancestors of Ra. 
Very nice. Okay. Oh, that's so interesting. Like, look, I'm normally, like, used to, like, clicking just above the text box to back away, but you have got to go into the text box to back away. That is fascinating. Wow. That's so interesting to me. Okay. Nice. Very nice. I should try to piece the amulet back together. Okay, so this is about the same. So that's that's all right. I think this yeah, this one goes right there. And there we go. That go Oh. What? There we go. And that goes there, and this goes there. Boom. There's a piece nice. missing. I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in Do the Do they have tomb. the Easter egg in the beta? Uh, what is the Easter egg here? I am very unfamiliar with this game. Uh, this game's Easter eggs. And just this game in general, really. Okay, this looks about the same. Ah, you are still here, darling. Hachi, oh, welcome to the stream. Away, but, uh, Pick on the vase in the tent. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I prefer the distinguished Dr. Raccoon. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know, are you very brave or just very stupid? Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse, if oh, that's what you're getting at. It is, but you still haven't answered my question. He moves over. That is so interesting. His final frame and his first frame don't match up with the, with each other for each animation. Fascinating. Oh, I'm Watch very this. brave. This is something. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Brave never say. What's going to happen that now good. that there's been a major injury? Usually, and then he moved over. Yeah, that's down. so interesting. So now, we worked fast. Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike, but the medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. No, that can't be. That's what he said. This is serious. I know. Someone attacked him. Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it's best you be careful anyway. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. Do you have any evidence? I have enough. If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? You are very shrewd. What do you think about Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Did you two get along? Get along? I know him. I respect his work. Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. One of the best? <laughs> I am the best. That's why this site is mine. What are you working on? This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. Can I give it a shot? No. You want to try the other mural up top? Yeah, sure. I need a few tips for reading the hieroglyphs. A few tips? <laughs> yes, that's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious. But then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. Have you found anything definitively to say whose tomb this is? I wish I could say we found the Lost Queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. We may find the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Look at the hieroglyphs. 
They are not supposed to be riddles, and I still grappled with them, sometimes for years. The actual riddles, <laughs> forget it. That's why I am here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. Um... So what am I reading? Uh, when... Um, are oh, you talking about Easter eggs, Nerdy Geek Gamer? In one, you need the four scarabs and the four. Oh, yes, yes, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we'll get to those in just a. What do you know about Lily? I've seen many like her. What in just a second mean? here. Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, they achieve. Oh, my they word, Liv, did Hotchie just ambitious. shut you down? That seems dramatic. Bro. The world moves Whoa. in their dramatic lives. I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge, she will go pink. Hachi, what's going on? In a crazy direction. I do not trust her. Then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. I still don't understand why you would want Lily to work with you. She is smart, and her downfall is being too ambitious. She is so much like me, I'd be a hypocrite to not like her. <laughs> Liv. I'd better get going. Bye. I think Hachi's lost it. My first instinct was correct, but then I second-guessed the... The what? Oh, the lack of ginger honey love. Oh, that is too funny. My dictionary could help translate that. <gasps> oh my word, amazing. Uh, okay. Oh, we wanted to go and get the Easter egg. And see if that exists. Uh, I think it's this one we gotta break? <coughs> Easter egg exists. There we go. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Something is strange about the hieroglyphs here. I wonder what it means. Collapses in shame. <laughs> right? Why doesn't this area translate? Uh, right. Uh. I assume this is the... Definitely not. I don't know what this is. Not Liv just changing her icon. Bro. Oh, Ginger Honey Love Bee. Why, why are you gray and not... Is, is Ginger Honey Love Bee, like... Sorry, I don't know. What is going on? Is my Wi-Fi just glitching out here? That's... That's strange. These must be the Queen's titles John mentioned in his notes. It looks like a hieroglyph appears in the bottom row when the column contains you only want one type twice. of hieroglyph. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom <laughs> reveals the hidden message. <laughs> oh. That, yeah, dude, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I really should have my walkthrough open for this because I'm going to need it for sure because I do not know this game. What is going on? What is happening? There it is. Sorry, my Google is breaking. Guys, what the heck? We're going to just change internet internets for one second here, guys. Three, two, one. I think we're back. The internet is being really weird. And it's stressing me out. Like what is going on? Anyways, let's let's try this again, shall we? Uh <laughs> 
Wow. This is something. Anyways, what I wanted to do was this and that and leave that there and move this right That's to there. That's it. Now if I only knew what it yeah, so meant. You... And now Ginger Honey Love Beats profile picture is showing up. It wasn't before, but it is now. Anyways, that is just... That is strange. Okay, nothing to do there. It's stuck. This is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. Nice. Um... Okay. Okay. Very good. Very fantastic. Let's put this Got it. right there. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got the amulet magically just put back together by the power of something. Uh, I think I went to the wrong way. I think we want to go this way. And... I bet I could translate oh. that. A queen is buried here. I knew it. There we go. It just needed the voice activated command. It's still sealed. Well. Oops. <laughs> you say that, Nancy. What are you doing? Stub. There it is. There's our first stub of the game right there. What this? Brilliant. Brilliant. Stub. It's magnificent. Wow. What is this? It's the curse. Ah! Everyone get out of here. Stub. Now. Wow. It's always good. <laughs> Why is this one so much bigger than the rest? <laughs> and why? I, I didn't play it though. I, I looked at it and I have thought about it. still have to do that. Anyways. No one screamed at the final. Well, no one screamed like that, I'll tell you that. Hello. Not to be rude, but. Who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. Ha 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 ha! Oh, Hachi, that's fantastic. It's like you can call. You can lie about calling the police and Finn, right? Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? I, but I am. I have better things to I'm do. I'm right here. Oh, you do not. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Boredom? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sum. <laughs> you know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. What do you do exactly? As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet. <laughs> Let <laughs> Where do you give tours? All throughout Egypt. That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here. To be perfectly on the level, I have to be. Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? 
Here. Lovely. Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Surely you've heard of the curse. I have. <laughs> I don't have time for another do stub. Do you believe in it? Of course I do. But since you're here, you must not be worried about being cursed yourself. I've been gloriously unlucky my whole life. I don't think a curse could make things much worse. I'd better get going. Curious I'll be seeing you. Bess's and Hotchkiss's phone pictures look like. Yeah, that's true, actually. Oh my word. <laughs> what is this background art? What's going on there? <laughs> oh. What? Blackmore? What? Ain't no way, bro. This new, 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 new. Okay, so they got those right, but... I'm sorry? Whoa! Nice. <laughs> Whoa! Make it go away. My goodness. Oh, I fixed it. That is way too funny. I thought we were just I thought we were just screwed. I thought that was it. I thought we were just like like someone's just gonna set off a drill for the rest of the game. Can't, can't still Make it that. go away. Oh, let's try that again. Can't use my no, phone I know here. you can't. So we must have just like hit a glitch there then. Interesting. Okay, I think we just hit a bug. That's okay. That's okay. That's alright. That's that's perfectly okay. Anyways, what were we doing? Sorry, that was so distracting. Hi. Oh, this. I'll catch you later. Bye. This is always ca it's, I for some reason think it's a sandwich at first glance every time, even though I know it's not. And she's back. Do you think there's something to this? Save curse? the game. Probably should save. We're gonna call it <sighs> drill noises. I've studied curses, Woo! so look. Don't make me say it. Say what? Yes, I do. Even reading about curses gives me the creeps. Why are you reading about curses if they give you the creeps? I know, it's weird. It's like if I can learn everything about curses, then maybe they won't have any control over me. I can tell that you probably don't believe in curses, so please oh, call it stub. Me. Whoops. I'm not. I should have. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit worked up. I'm probably just being oversensitive. You're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. You know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear who also has the bird flu and he's holding dynamite. What do you think about Dylan? Did we accidentally invite the whole world to this dig? With the Zippy exception zoom. of a decent work crew, that is. Although I do hate that I don't know why he is here, he is definitely easy on the eyes. Sorry guys, give me one give me one quick second here.
everything's all good, guys. I'm sorry. I just need to deal with this one quick thing. I'm very, very sorry. Give me like another two, maybe three minutes. Sorry, guys. We're all good. I promise. Sorry guys, just a couple more minutes and I'll be right back to playing. I'm so sorry. Just listen to the sound of the sand and the music for a little bit longer. And Liv, I do see you.
I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm almost, I'm almost done. I'm so sorry. Just got a friend who's just having a bit of a tough time right now, and just kind of, I'm just trying to do my best to be there for them. So, give me, give me a little bit more. Sorry, guys.
All right, guys. I do apologize once again. We are finally back. We have returned. Just uh, just wrapping up the chats with the with my friend here, and I think we are. Uh, I think we're all good to go. Um. So yeah, what have I missed? There's a lot of eyes. I've been reading a lot of dumb ways to die popping up in chat. And I uh, hope you guys are good. I understand that my webcam is still not on. Um, things are good. Just uh, I'm just waiting to get just for myself to know that. Excuse me, that my uh, my buddy's doing all good here. So, hi guys. Forty nine. You got the forty nine eyes. Is that right, uh, Liv? I almost said Ginge, but I was like, that's not right. Let's fedora back on. Here we go. Get ready in a world where Egypt gets taken on by storm, and that storm has a name. It's Nancy Drew. I mean, theoretically, I could just say Nancy Hugh because that's also who I am. But I don't think so. I'm so go I'm sorry, guys. Wrong, that was uh, an unexpected. Your eyes must uh, be tired from looking at hieroglyphs all day. It's okay. We're good. Everything's okay. Way. Everything's fine. I hope everything's fine. What did you think about being there to finally open the tomb? I don't know what to think. When I was near it, oh, she it gave just a little halftime show. I love it. No, it's stupid. I what? love it. Something was in that room with me. I am curious, though. I am very curious. I do want to see. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Thank you guys for sticking Please with not me. Anymore. Thank you for sticking with Don't me, guys. Go in there. That voice kind of sounded like the cemetery keeper in Blue Moon Canyon. Oh, that is brilliant. I was playing Blue Moon, uh, Blue Moon Canyon today, actually. I was doing some uh, some casual playing of what do you think of Last Abdula? Train. Say what you want about how he behaves. He's earned it. I've heard the opposite. I've studied his career. He's a bit of a jerk, but let's face it, when you think of archaeology, you think of him. He's the best. A decade of dedicated study. He's okay, the best. I guess you have a point. Better than Thanks. all the rest. It just bothers me when people are critical of Better you. than He's anyone. Sort of a hero of mine. Than anyone What's that book? Ever curses met. of the World The Compendium of Cruel Curses and Curious Casualties. Have a great night, Amy. Thanks for uh, hanging out and sticking uh, around. I'm so sorry like that reading. the last half hour I was, was a little going to go into less exciting, but, but no, great to I see you, my friend. Mind, Enjoy your night. Year. Cheers. Why did no one tell me about how creepy curses are when I switched majors? Dinosaurs were bad news back in the day, but now, totally safe. Mummies, on the other hand, I make poor life choices. Curses aren't real. You'll be fine. No. No more taunting the curse. At least not around me. I'm too young to die out here. I have things to do. I'm still in school. I haven't even started my life yet. I'm not tempting fate here, Nancy. I refuse. Okay. How could I, I refuse? Bye-bye. See you. Bye. We need uh, the Too Young to Die remix of Professor Song. Well, didn't Hachi do the uh, the cover of Too of a uh, Dumb Ways to Die or something? Oh, Too Young to Die. Sorry, never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Never. <laughs> never mind. <sighs> Let's just watch the Princess and the Pauper instead of playing this. 
I, oh, we can just yeah. I think in the words of Abdullah, he's been bowing, he's been scraping, he's been lying like a rug, and for ten long years he's had to pay his dues. There we go. Off camp for a while, so we're talking about amongst ourselves. Yes. Abdullah is, and I quote from memory, in chapter one he swoops into the excavation site, the picture of a rascal with his dusty leather jacket and decidedly European haircut, his cocktail never do well, a smirk displaying his perfectly nice. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we were um can't can't check that off yet. Oh, we got a hot hydrate hydrate uh, translate. Sorry, not hydrate. Oh no, we broke into the tomb. The flashlight isn't working. Oh, that's right. We better find something else to light the way. Right. Okay, I remember what we're supposed to do here. That's right. Sorry, I got to get myself back on track here, boys. Yes. I'll catch you later. Goodbye. We do need to talk to you, actually. Yes? Do you know Dylan? I know of him. You do? So he has a reputation? He is a very popular guide. For Perfectly white teeth. Work. I do not like guides. They distort history. And but by the, the end, he'd be way, sweetly holding flowers and saying, Professor Hoshkiss, I'm dying to discuss your latest fun. publication. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Not harsh enough. Every oh, you are too what funny, Hashi. I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come, and they come, by the millions they come. And bit by bit, they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. Do you think international teams have stolen artifacts from Egypt? No. I do not think I know. You don't seem very happy to have Dylan here. Good. I'm glad you noticed. If this were my site, like it should be, he'd be out on the sand with his hat in his hand, trying to catch a ride back to Cairo. And he would Your never teeth find hurt too much. There is no Ricky, story. what happened? I'll catch you later. Right. Goodbye. Uh, we want to go and try and charge this and see what happens. Let me plug it in. Poof! Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. Yeah, you, yeah, for real, dude. Let's go and pop over here. Grab the lamp oil. Nyom. Uh, and go light light some stuff up. Because that's how Flashlight Nancy Drew do working. it. I better find something else to light the way. A lamp. Great. I just need to find a way to get it working. I need okay. to light the oil. Where do I find the flint and steel, you guys? Oh, wait. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. Never mind. Uh, wisdom teeth that are all coming in super crooked and is pushing on. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Ricky, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's, that's painful. I was very fortunate with mine. I actually had all four of my wisdom teeth come in pretty early on. Like, I think... Jeez, it could have been as far back as like 2015, 2016, something like that. Either way, they've been poking out for a while. Had the top ones removed, bottom two probably should have come out, but things are good. But yeah, dude, that's, I'm so sorry, Ricky, that's awful. 
Uh, were you aware that there was a point-and-click Blade Runner game? Uh, I was aware, yeah, and uh, mostly Walking started playing it. I think I, or they played it or started playing it, and I started watching them, but I didn't continue for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I should go back and take a look at it. Have you played it, Little One Cave? Because it, isn't it? It was put on GOG or something. Something like that. Um... Let there be lamp, said the moth. Your cousin had eight wisdom teeth? I'm sorry, what? That's not real. The normal person will have four or fewer wisdom teeth. How do they have... Or they have eight... That's, that's, that's gotta be physically impossible. Are you for real? A uh, little one cave. Yeah, I think it was put on GOG. I think it was GOG.com. Um, eight wisdom teeth? No way. That's, that is, that's like a record. Um, what's I gonna say? Uh, Blade Runner. What? She had four? Had them removed years later, four more spots? I've got to tell this to my uncle. He will have his mind blown because he is an orthodontist and I would love to see his face just be like, yeah, no way. Because I'd be like, listen, man, it's true. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, Liv. It's very... Po really? Wow. Oh, actually, um... Little One Cave. Is it that, was that Little One Cave that was telling me about that? Uh, yeah. Um, the Blade Runner Enhanced version is currently on sale for 35% off on GOG. But regular Blade Runner is, is still full price. Can you have eight wisdom teeth? Thousands. Oh, and more seeing, oh, thousands of patients. The person have seen quite a few patients that have double wisdom teeth. Wow! There are some extreme cases where people have even more. <laughs> what? You're lying. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, Eric, that's awful. So far, the mouthful of teeth on the palate and dental school. Really? Wow. Dude, that's mental. I didn't know that you could have more than four. That is so interesting. Wow, the thing, okay, wow, you learn something new every single day. Holy cow, that's mad. That's, that is absolutely insane. My dictionary could help translate that. I feel like a second, uh, second set should be free. <laughs> you no. <know. laughs> yeah. Just that. like, listen, this was not Why my fault. Area I don't... <laughs> like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, man. Can... Okay, how do we... We gotta do this, like, the first one, and then we it'll, like, auto-translate the rest of them. Is that... Oh. As... I've got it right here. For the one who broke the seal. For... The one who broke the seal. Agonies of death. Await only you. That's not good. I want to play a beta of uh, Shadow at the Water's Edge. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Something terrifying every day. Yeah, I know that. Oh, see, I hate the dentist. Like, with a passion. I hate the dentist. Like, so much so. I think I don't know if I told this on stream before, but like, one time, when I was going to go to the dentist, I was so scared to go, just for a cleaning. That I nearly just puked before yes. we left the house, because I just... Couldn't handle it. I hate it. I I hate the dentist. Man. That was a close Get rid of it. With a Make them go away. Yeah, I've seen worse. Twenty years ago. Get away from me. Psych, 
A guy, much like your boy Dylan, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down. Seven of us, trapped under stones, big as automobiles. You know what I'm saying, Charity? What happened? Gross. Five of us were eventually pulled out. What happened to the How other How long were you two? in dental school? What I didn't do know you that. Think happened? Do you think this has anything to do with a curse? Does it matter? I've gone to dentist since I was like a little kid. Yeah. It costs so much money to go to the dentist. Like, so much. It's disgusting. Like, I think a, like the average price for a checkup or for a cleaning in British Columbia, and I don't know, I don't know if this is true anywhere else. I don't know. Um, you did a full degree in dental technology. How did I not know that, Charity? How did I, how have I not known that? Or if you told me, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, yeah, I think it's like 250 bucks for a cleaning or something. How much does it cost to get a dental clip? I've already looked it up. Uh, between 215 and 200 to over $278 as per the British Columbia government fee guide updated in 2023. That's disgusting. Do you believe in the curse? That's of awful. Course. Really? Then aren't you worried about being it's here? It's so gross. No, no, no. I am Abdullah Bakum. <laughs> this is no Charity. Over me. What makes you so sure of that? I'm still alive. Many men cannot say the same thing. The true power of a curse, it lives here. For a cleaning. What do you live. mean by that? <laughs> the curse of an If you brush your teeth really well, any man who enters you should be all right. Tomb, I or cast the fear of myself into him. You could pay two hundred fifty bucks. Went into that tomb for and? a toothbrush. I mean, not and really. They, the they're they're more in depth than that. But a curse when it has you um, is like a strange sickness, a fever, and it never goes away. You but never I to play for you your, for a clean in your curses. life. Oh man, I wish. No, I said curses have no effect on me. I am strong. Everyone else is a different story. Look at Lily and see what I mean. <laughs> Charity. I oh, fantastic. Beginner's look. That is fantastic. I'll let you go. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to, like, come to Canada to pay for dental stuff, I think you are absolutely out of your mind. I would rather go to the States to pay for it because it's apparently a lot cheaper. Um. Oh, we can, like, quick... Can we quick... Is quick translate? That's... <laughs> Is that in this thing? Oh, it is. I need to find out who the four sons of Horus were. It looks like the Red Scarab is missing. But we're about to find it, bro. We are literally on our way to go and find this thing. Whoa! The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get 45 me 45 bucks? Bro! Shh. Do not tempt the Anunnaki. Dude, well, you'd pay more in a flight and hotel to Germany for your dental stuff than a dental... Thing here, not have even spoken. But you are, you are. It is Disregard true. Disregard that, Charity. <laughs> I didn't mean to say. I'm you are very correct. Blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't yeah, exactly I know. be there now, can I? There's like that would make no sense. Positives and negatives with health stuff in both U.S. and Canada, for sure. What do you think of Dylan? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand yeah. dollars worth work. Oh, Ricky, of him? that is. I guess not. Painful. Okay. That's a relief. Oh my word. Oh, bro, I'm so sorry. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? At a time like this. A time this? like what? The makers, the original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born. And like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia, we lived in caves terrified of the very earth of fire and wind and lightning we cowered and dug down into the earth but one thing of all humans we are curious one night our ancestors saw the sky catch fire and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light and there they met the anu the teachers i don't follow they brought Bro. us to the next level of consciousness and in return we built them the pyramids 
Yeah, you know, I was just, I was, um, I did a, a deep clean today um, of some stuff. So it's great, actually. So I'm going to just, I'm going to tell you about my cleaning day. This is brilliant. In fact, this is such a story that is so uninteresting that we're actually going to go to the webcam for it because I, I want to be super, like, into this. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hold on. We're going to click on this. Oh, that's not what I want. Click on that. Click on that. Oh, that is definitely not what I wanted. We're going to do this. And we're just going to bring that up just a bit. Hey, there we go. That's all right. Um, What was I doing? What was I saying? Whoa! That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Boom. Uh, No, uh, not a room tour. Sorry. <laughs> no, I did a bunch of cleaning today. We're going to turn on some background stuff here. The most intense cleaning music in the world. Nice. Perfect music. Okay. Um, I did some cleaning today. This is like so serious for no reason. I'm so sorry. Um, and I did a lot of like recycling of stuff. I, this, okay, here's the thing. So my desk has four, five drawers. There's a big drawer like right here. There's two drawers on either side. There's a bottom drawer, which is like pretty deep. And then a top drawer, which is a bit shallow. And on both bottom drawers, there's like a bunch of dividers. When I say a bunch, I mean three per drawer. And this drawer, the one down here, held like shipping stuff for my website, uh, Lego stuff, and then Nancy Drew stuff. And then the upper drawer up here, <laughs> nice, I'm a taxi tonight too. And then up on this one, I had all my strategy guides, all my product that I shipped, that I sh sell on my store. And then all my mugs and tea and other stuff in this drawer. And then this one had like all my like banking stuff and tax documents and receipts and all this stuff. Have a great night, Hachi. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we'll chat soon, my friend. Cheers. Have a great night. Yeah, this side had, yeah, like tons of stuff. There was, it was craziness actually. Like, in fact, what took up an entire drawer is now is now just this. That's all that it is. And it used to be like th four times this. It's now just this. I'm so, I can't even tell you how proud of that. How proud of this that I am. Anyways, um, again, that's kind of beside the point. Hold on. Anyways, I've I did a lot of condensing and stuff. And um, I discovered that I had a, an old dental bill that I had to pay for a filling. It was one filling. It was like 250 bucks or something. And that's that's that was all I was going to say. But anyways, this drawer now is entirely Nancy Drew, which is great. All the Lego has been removed and displaced. All my strategy guides are down here. So now this drawer is just tea, mugs, uh, and my like... CD cases of Nancy Drew stuff. So that's what I was up to today. It was great. Uh, lovely. Livy Bird, have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really... I really hope you had a good evening. And uh, great to see you, as always. And I'm sure uh, we'll see you in the future. When do you leave to Japan? Is that in a, a day or two? A couple days? Um, I really hope that it goes well. Because I'm sure I won't see you... Or talk to you before then, but either way, have a fantastic trip, my friend, because Japan sounds absolutely amazing. So cheers. Have a great night and a great trip. Anyways, back to this here. We're going to go back to here. There we go. Well, that makes sense. It does? You didn't expect me to agree. Most people take a little convincing. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. When did you become so interested in aliens? Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien? On Sunday morning, 14 hour flight, Changed my life. landing on Monday afternoon. You know oh, Livy Bird. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Have so much fun. Landing. All right, I'll bite. Why? 
because it was a rude thing to do, and they wanted no part of it. They wanted no part of it. Who is Sunny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? To be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. I'm still not a believer. But look around! This temple is proof! There is no way all of this could have been built without their help. All those things seem like human accomplishments to me. As they were designed to look. But I had hoped that you could see the strings, and not just the puppet. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, so she wanted to see the strings Still and not have the to puppet. Do, that. We, do we talk to Hotchkiss or just like, hey, Horace and that? What's his background from? Do we know what the background's from? I feel like we do. Hotchkiss here. Please let me know. It's Nancy Drew. Oh, Francine, dear, I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating problem with my internet. This is Nancy Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing, always in search of new identities. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. But now I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the Weather Monkey keeps yelling the is weather it at danger? me. Maybe you should uninstall it. Is it the it? Redondo? I will yeah. No okay. Tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down. Brilliant and fantastic. Oh yes, Samantha. Carrie you Healy. Are a ticket. I would love to help you. Uh, I would. Uh, do I have a picture of the Redondo on hand? Because I'm so curious. Um. No, I want the this one here. Um, I want the opening cutscene. Elemento. There's nothing for opening. Oh, fascinating! Absolutely fascinating. Well. Too bad. I got the YMCA stuck in my head, Nancy, bros. Nancy, Drew, we've met a few times. I know the weather monkey eye conversation is so good, Lauren. It's a classic. Weather monkey. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt. Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh dear, I sign and send lots of things. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, I don't think we have to talk to her about the Four Sons of Horus. Do you think Horus ever asked for a horoscope? Or was he the inventor of that? Thoughts? Thoughts, anyone in chat? Yay? Nay, perhaps? Whoa. Still have to do oh, we that. do have to call her for canopic jars. Gross. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. 
Can you help me sort out some canopic jars? Oh my! Oh, oh my, yes, let's see. A human and three animals. A jackal was Duwamatef, baboon, hoppy, and Kebasenuef. They also represented the four cardinal points, each protecting a sacred organ. I seem to remember that hoppy was the lung. See ya. Goodbye. I think it's, uh, it'd be cool if a series of unfortunate events was made into a point and click style game like Nancy. That would be really cool, actually. That would be really cool. Can't check. Did check. Can't check. Did. That's. Did. Did. That, that can't check that off yet. Okay, so find a way to snoop Lily. Oh yes, we gotta talk to get Lily out. Hello. Hello. What do you think of Lily? She's definitely my type. What do definitely you mean? Definitely my type. Cute, interesting, and not interested. Just like my last girlfriend, very driven. PhD student, probably has a cramped apartment full of dehydrated plants. She's probably going to come off a little rough edged. Bro. A little rough edged, he says. Um, what do you think about Jamila's alien theories? Not much. Subject change. Do you happen to know how a bloke like me might impress that cantankerous old curmudgeon down below? You mean Abdullah, right? I very much hope there isn't another one. Hmm. No, there's I three. I imagine he responds to people talking about archaeology. Brilliant. Just I'll me, do that. me, and Thanks, me. Nancy. Castaways, ahoy. We are castaways. What do you think of Jamila? Is she for real? Because Jamila, wow, I hardly know I her. Some nutters in my life, but that girl belongs in a museum herself, with a little tag. Ha! <laughs> I know, right? Liv, Liv, it's talents. great. Oh, she's just different. No, I'm different. She's a crazy little robo to drift in a vast sea of insanity. A vast sea of insanity. What do you think of Abdullah? He's got quite the ego, but I'm sure he deserves quite it. the ego. What makes you say that? He likes egos. If he didn't, no one would put up with him. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. Kind of sure, like a cactus. He's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. The best but in do his you field. Do think he is? Who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. You know. He's just on the edge. What do you mean? He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll be seeing you. There we go. Didn't Carter. Uh, can't, che can't check that off the yet. The answer to the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. Coraline's your favorite movie. You were Coraline for Halloween this past year. Oh, that's awesome, Haley. I've never seen Coraline, actually. Never seen that before. Uh, Ricky, have a great night. Uh, I really hope you feel better, my friend. I'm so sorry. That sounds really awful. Tooth pain is the worst, and when it's because other teeth are coming in, that's, that's just terrible. I'm so sorry. I really hope you sleep well. And, um, and we'll chat with you soon. Cheers. Oh, we gotta talk to Lily. No, we gotta talk to Abula. And then Lily. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes Corlan's wild. with the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. That's so the, I take it you don't. That's the Tim Burton one. He did that one, right? Um, oh, Henry Selleck did that. Okay. I see. Oh, because he also did... Oh, no, who did... No, what am I thinking of? Um... Oh, sorry, no, I'm thinking of Frank and Weenie. Never mind. I haven't seen that one either, by the way. Don't believe in aliens? 
Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they I mean, have more to say. No, so Tim Burton is not... Cor Coraline's not Tim Burton. But it looks... It looks like Tim Burton, but it's not. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that Does we... anyone know how to turn on dark mode for Google Docs, by the way? If anyone's got any tips, please let me know, because it's blindingly bright. Pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Stub. <laughs> no. Okay, so he didn't leave. Right. Meanwhile. Hi. Hi. What do you think of Jamila? When she talks to me, I always keep checking for the hidden camera. Huh? No one can be that nuts. I'm still convinced we're going to end up on a hidden camera show called Suckers Talking to Crazies. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? I'm nowhere near as harsh as she is crazy. You could take that to the bank. The crazy bank. <laughs> she, like, smirks at Wait her own second. joke. I didn't even... Do you actually agree with her about aliens? No. Good. I no. don't know why Abdullah doesn't just kick her out. I better get going. See you. Oh, it's okay. I'll tell you guys. I've said this a, a few times before, uh, before, but it's actually so interesting for me to like to play Nancy Drew games now. And because I've been editing Lonnie's dialogue for Amelia Darnell um, and working with her on that, it's it's so weird because I've had so many. All the dialogue has all had so many different takes uh, and different like renditions that she's done. And so when I hear. Whenever I hear any line in a Nancy Drew game now from Lonnie, all I think of is, how many other ways did she <laughs> did she say this line? It's the it's so weird. So when she said no, like as if like a no, I don't believe in aliens. I just imagine like, in like how how else did she say no, and how many other versions did they cut when they were making this game? It's just, oh, that's all I can think about now when I hear her voice. Because I've heard her do so many different things. And it's just the wackiest. It's such a crazy mental thing to, like... It's it's just so weird. Stay out of there! It's so weird. I don't even know how to describe it. But... Yeah, all I hear is, like, the five other variations that she would do. It's so great. Yeah, Little One Cave, totally. And it's so interesting, too, like to, to play a game like this, and because of working on Amelia Darnell, it's so easy for me to see behind, and because of how much knowledge I've already got about these games and how, they, how they're made, it's so easy for me to see behind everything. And just, like, it's a it almost, like, takes me out of the experience in a way, but at the same time, I've got a deeper appreciation for these games and everything. It's so fascinating, man. It's so weird and so, like... I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's wacky. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, it's, it's so weird. I, I, I don't, I don't even know how to, like, describe what it's like. It's like, if you just, like, kind of know, you know. But. Yeah, it's just so weird. It's such a strange thing. It's such a strange thing. Yeah, Maggie, that's true too, yeah. Yeah, and like sometimes, yeah, things will get like mispronounced or a word will be missed out or whatever and or changed slightly and yeah, like Lonnie is ama it's amazing. It's amazing to work with Lonnie. It's actually a joy and an honor to be able to work with Lonnie and to see how she works 
with someone of her professional level and then to get a product in return from her that is so high quality it just like oh it just fills me with so much joy and I'm just so grateful for the work she's put into into this game and I honestly I cannot wait I cannot wait for you guys to play Amelia Darnell because it's just gonna be so good it's just it's just gonna be so great um anyways that's beside the point um what were we doing back here we were talking to can't can't check that off yet is she ha 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 okay so what's the what's the dealio with the uh, Emilio the thing the I think it's this way definitely not this way not by a long shot hmm. maybe the color has something to do with the solution is it like this like is this how we gotta have these all nice <laughs> let's go Oh yeah, dude. Oh, I just I I yeah. I'm I'm just so stoked for Amelia Darnell. So very very stoked. Um. Oh, actually, okay. Let's do this. Actually, we'll do this too. And pop that there. Do this. Uh, oh, this can't work though, can it? So we gotta do this. But that can't work either. Oh, hold on, just a second here. Hmm. This is not going to work, is it? Oh. But then we need to get the white one there. Oh, yeah, we do this, that, there, boom. Nice. I want to try to make a game similar to this style, but retelling Sherlock Holmes, Hunter of the Bastard Bills. Nice. Uh, main difference being using gorgeous 2D background art instead of pre-renders. Uh, ah, I see. I should Very look around nice. for a clue to solve this. It fits. Now, what exactly right. does it do? This is actually wrong. This needs to go here. This. And then I think we just turn that whoa what just happened I should see if I broke something there we go got it it's the one hi Nancy well I better get going bye yeah I I, I love 2d art as well I started out as a 2d artist on Amelia Darnell doing various little assets um uh, I won't say anything that I've done uh, for spoiler reasons um, but I cannot wait to point them out to you um, but yeah I love 2D art I love being a 2D artist it's absolutely brilliant Break your NDA. Break your NDA. Can't do that. I don't need to take a picture of that. There it is. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea what damage you have done. I'm sorry. I didn't know. You didn't know. Ignorance is not an excuse. 
It is no problem. You are off the site. Please, I will never even come near your work again. That is right, you won't. You don't deserve to be here. Have the dignity to admit it. I'll help. I promise. Please, <laughs> I'll do anything to stay. When the transport comes, you get on it. You are taking up space that a good student could be using. I want nothing to do with you. You will never have a career. Just leave. Be gone with him. Oh, what a great view of the temple, man. I love seeing environments like from this kind of like POV, this angle. Rather cool. Did you see that? See what? Maurice, I knew did you see that? He scared the Fuso away. This is unheard of. The technology required to move the columns. Maybe aliens were involved. Very cute. Beauty. How did you get into archaeology? I have a great student. night, Erica. I Thanks so much for hanging out. I went out on a dig one day. Really appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a lovely day. night. Inside, Cheers. Nothing remarkable. Mummies, no hieroglyphs. But once I lowered myself down into the dark, dusty tomb, I felt a strange flutter in my chest, right here. And I do not know what overtook me, but I knew I had to push very hard on this wall. And it gave way. And you know what was there? What? I had opened the door thousands of years back in time. Ancient Egypt was down there. I have never again been the same. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Um, Hachi sent me a, uh, a meme earlier that I just completely uh, forgot to show on stream. So I'll have to show that before we end. I think we're going to end the stream here probably within like 15 minutes or so. Uh, and then we can pick it up and hopefully get through the rest of it uh, next week. So I'll show the uh, the meme Nancy, before the end. things are moving. I heard the pillars moving. Walk like an Egypt blow. I noticed that, but... I don't think we're in any danger. And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? Call it a hunch. At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Right? Right. I have to admit, I overheard that argument between you and Abdullah. Are you okay? You did? What did you hear? I'm not sure, it. really. It just sounded pretty bad. He's saying it came to early. He can be rough to work with, but he's the best. I just have to get better and not make such stupid mistakes all the time. Is there anything I can do? Yes. I need your help sorting amulets. This has always been the thing I've been worst at. Please say you'll help. I'll help the you amulet! I oh, no! Sure thing. Great. Thanks. They need to be sorted by... Uh, I want to watch Charlie the Unicorn now. They <laughs> They're on the table in the other tent. Is that her coughing? I need to sort these amulets by type. I wonder if there's any different. I don't think there's any differences in the amulets here. I would assume for the most part they're about the same. Based on what I'm seeing, they look about the same. I'm missing one. 
I'd better check that out. Someone cut the tent. I need to fully investigate. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, Jenny Taylor? Charlie the Unicorn, man. Film guy. Oh, dude. <sighs> ring, ring. Hello? Ring, ring. H hello? I remember when I first saw it, I just... My buddies and I would just... Hmm. If you wanted to sneak we'd be quoting it the all the time. anyone seeing you, this would be the perfect spot to do it. I should search to see if anything was dropped here. If I had the right tool, I bet I could see if the thief left anything behind. Hmm. What's this? No way. Uh, what is it? Nice. Yeah. We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. You're the Banana King. The door. The choo choo shoe. Grab onto our tongues. <laughs> I love Charlie the Unicorn. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's That's done. That's done. Can we get? Yes. Bye. See you later. Can we get what's his name to distract the, the lad, the lads? Get out of this way. Well, hello. Well, hello. You better get going. I'll be seeing ya. Dude, I just oh, I love it. I love it so much. Charlie, you look so down. Hello. What do you think of Abdullah? Not much. He talks always. Oh, they stole my kidney again. But what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say, let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably go watch Charlie, charge. uh, Charlie the Unicorn you after the stream. Don't think he's capable of being in charge. I think that would be fantastic. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. How well do you know Lily? I like Lily. I'm She's not a friend to the cause. It, oh, no, that's him. Oh, I'm bleeding banana friend blood. To the cause? You know, rolling out the red carpet for our celestial others. Oh, that. I've been trying to teach her about the true purpose of the hidden tombs, but she's not receptive. Earlier, you said true purpose of the tombs. What did you mean? Can the Anunnaki had much to teach us. Too much. They hid the secrets on Earth. And when we master all these Lee! lessons, they will return to the temples and Sorry, take just... the most enlightened among Anyways. us with them. What will happen to everyone else? For those who do not pass the test, there will be war and famine. The uh, Carolyn, Caroline. The blue light Welcome the to the Earth stream. Yeah, there are a few. The sky. That is bleak. Well, yeah, there are a few differences. I know, right? That is why I tried to get Lily to embrace the Anunnaki. She does not care. I better get going. Bye. For instance, the main like magnifying glass cursor is different. Uh, the general like user interface is different, which we should probably save here while we're at it. Um, yeah, it's all very different. Uh, just generally with the way things look. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jenny Taylor, yeah. You're like a constant downer, huh? <laughs> oh, every time. That just, it just makes me, it always freaked me out too. On a weird level, it just like made my skin crawl watching that show. But I've always loved the show. Um... Anyways, okay, so how do we get people, like, out of here? <gasps> Wait. Can I... Can I remove you from yes. the, from the I board? I better get going. Bye. So do we have to, like, talk to anybody and say, hey, get this guy out of here? Hello. Bye. Hurry back now. Oh, we, got, we should probably talk to John, shouldn't we? Probably should talk to John. Oh my word. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded, with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. So, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's stumped, something unique is going on here.
Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. Nice! Why would she want to keep me away? Are there any PhD students in this chat that are currently not upset about something? Because I think John knows you a pyramid. I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge... We should watch a little bit of one at the end of the stream. <laughs> Save you a lot of <laughs> right? We probably should. What do should. you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. Um. Yeah, I think it's number two. Oh, because they put up the grand finale. I forgot about that. The 40 minute grand finale. I totally forgot they did that. Brilliant. Out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small. People talk. I guess all I'm going to say is it's surprising Adola put her on his team. You can't just leave it at that. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. A tour guide just appeared out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, really. He showed up when we found the tomb. You're 100 kilometers outside of Cairo. That's too far afield to have a wacky next door neighbor. Huh? Uh, sorry. I'm not used to watching this much television. It's doing strange things to my brain. Whatever he says, he didn't just drop in. He must be up to something. What do you know about Abdullah? He's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. He seems a little full of himself. <laughs> a little? With that amount of swagger, you'd think he invented sand. Do you think he's Card behind making. your attack? Uh, I don't think so. This isn't the first time we've butted heads. I'd think that if he were to attack me... Liv, quick question for you. From behind. By card making, are you talking like greeting card making? Or like playing card making? Or like, let me know. Like, that sounds awesome. Have so much fun. And by card making, are you like digitally designing or are you like hand illustrating? Tell me all the deets, bro. That sounds awesome. That sounds fantastic. How's the recovery coming? Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. I don't think I've heard that before. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it at all of the sitcoms. I feel like John Boyle would hate Breaking Bad. Or would love it. I'm not too sure. As soon as I can stand without Both easy, right I'm now. Oh, live. Back to the site, even if I have to sneak out of here. That sounds fantastic. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please. Not you, too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Uh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. How real is the black market? For trafficking antiquities? Very real. Do you think there's a chance that someone here is involved in the black market? The John Boyle picture is Uncanny no Valley. Reason to think that. Yes. There is. Those men are... they're dangerous. If they are involved, I don't even want to... <laughs> Do you have any connections on the black market? Of course not. I didn't mean to offend. I just wish we could find out if they're interested in this site. If they are, all of the accidents would make more sense. Goodbye. Bye. Can we call Bess? We can totally call Bess. Let's call Bess and then we'll call the stream there for the night. Hi, Bess. Nancy, how goes the old mummy hunt? Good, I think. Maybe bad. Something happened, didn't it? There was a sandstorm, and the professor from Kingston had to be taken to the hospital. Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. I will. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers. But you can call me anytime you need help. Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about.
Yeah, I'm nearly done. Uh, more ethereal mixes. Right on. Yeah, no, I'm nearly done. We'll, uh, we'll wrap this up with... Oh, my word. We probably won't talk to her about everything. I still but, think Jamila yeah, is hiding we'll, yeah. something. What's the story? She Which says so she's boring. here yeah, because I'm, of the I'm sure. I Sorry, Charity. I would love to. But I am getting I tired. Did. I still think it might be the phone, but continue. They're the aliens she's into, but I can't figure Ooh, out why she's here Excuse me. Speaking of tired. Why don't you ask her? I know her character model is uh, you'll never get a straight answer very to. alibi and ashes. One is, are you lying? And the other is, are you crazy? <laughs> I say that a lot, don't That's I? That's crazy. You do, but to be fair, you do exceed the average person's daily allowance of interaction with crazy and or dishonest people. Jamila seems to be convinced that aliens built the pyramids. That's cool. Thinks that this site has some sort of significance to aliens, and they'll be returning soon. What Sorry, for? Charity. Who knows? The whole idea makes no sense to me. I know it's unlikely, but I think if aliens ever came to Earth, I think they'd like me. What? Why? She's like, because I am an alien. Kids love me. I just think we'd be pretty simpatico is all. I can't tell if Jamila's being <laughs> Jennifer Pratt is such a great actor. Right past my theory, that's fine. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> she sure plays best so you. well. That's all I wanted to hear. Go with your instinct, Nancy. You're so good at noticing what people really mean when they speak. Maybe she's saying a little more than she intends to. I don't know what to make of this tour guide who appeared out of nowhere. Is he cute? Casey, my guess would be that they were originally going to have phone contacts like this to make, make them a little more like realistic but then probably just decided to in the end just go with concept art or character illustrations instead so yeah uh i wonder if Car carson's a 3d character model i would be surprised if he did i could be wrong but i feel like i'd be surprised Fine. if that Cute. were the case why is this never any fun with you <laughs> girly friends fine yes he's moderately cute and he has an accent now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? His story isn't adding up. If he's a tour guide, why would he show up at a site that might take years to open up to the public? Maybe he's it's a golf ball. Of, oh, <laughs> tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that exactly. jazz you made us see who only played awful notes? I'm still sorry about that. In my defense, it was for a case. And in his defense? There's nothing. Long distance burn, jazz guy. <laughs> Lily seems very uptight. Do you think she's hiding something? No doubt about it. I just don't know if it's relevant. Strange behavior is rarely irrelevant, especially in a group that isolated. <laughs> Good point. Have you heard of the black market for antiquities? Of course. But why would anyone want to buy a piece of history? Shouldn't that go to a museum? It should. Too bad not everyone agrees. Bye. Bye. I really want a Hardy Boys game done in this style. And you know what? I would... When does Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys enter public domain? When's that happening? Do we know? Um, because I really would love to do, because I think, I think we can do, it'll be like the very first editions of the first couple books. Um, and so I think, oh, the Hardy Boys already is in public domain. So, oh yeah, they are. That's right. That's right. Um, because I think it'd be so cool to do a Hardy Boys game in the style of Nancy Drew, but done with like in the time period that it's supposed to take place in. I think that would be so cool. Like, Secret of the Old Clock, but even more in the time period. I, like, I would love that. I would love that. Nerdy Geek Gamer, that is true. They do have two games. Uh, they are very different kinds of games. I would love one in the style of Nancy Drew. I think that'd be so cool. And, it, you know, I actually think it'd be really cool if they had, if they, or if we got, like, different voice actors for Frank and Joe as well. You know, like I think I think it'd be really neat because I love love Joan of Unspreak and, and Rob Jones to death, but I think it'd be so interesting to hear a different cast for those two. But 
Yeah, I would love to do one on like the Tower of Treasure. Like that would be so cool because it's a be- it takes place in a beautiful mansion or castle, whatever it is. Um, and there's just a lot of great things about that game. You can meet Aunt Gertrude and Fenton Hardy and Laura Hardy and uh, Chet and Callie and Iola and go and do all their adventures. It'd be great, man. I would love it. And the, the second Hardy Boys book I think is my favorite out of all of them, which is The House on the Cliff, I think it's called. Absolutely brilliant book. But yeah, I would I would love to do that. That is on my bucket list for sure. Um, Jesse McCartney and Cody Lindley back, right? I know. Uh, guys, we're going to quickly watch a little bit, a little bit of Charlie the Unicorn because we had just a few references, but just a little bit. Just and just enough so that we don't like get smacked with like copyright. Club, 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 club. Look over there. It's a coral reef. No, oh, look, it's you guys. There. We're floating. Charlie, we're scuba diving, Charlie. We're exploring the depths of the ocean. This bit right here. Chugga, 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 chugga. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, I forgot shoo, my boarding shoo. path. I'll just walk. We're here, Charlie. This bit right here, right here. Of the Banana King. Right. Let's leave the amulet. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, sweet. <laughs> no, no, really. You guys see it, right? Surely Char- uh, Charlie the Unicorn inspired Bob from Bob's Burgers. Am I wrong? Like, sorry. Amulet and go home. How awesome of a character reveal is that? Let's do that again. Like, that is too funny. Here it comes. Three, two, one. That is just incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Charlie, you look quite down. I'm going to be watching that after after we're done here. Guys, that's fantastic, man. That's funny. Brilliant. Well, thank you guys so much. Again, I'm sorry for the half-hour break that we took there. Um, in my opinion, friends come first over streams. So, yeah. Um... That was, that was alright though. Two of the Lost Queen Bait is wild, isn't it? G- okay, listen, I'll tell you. If you guys think this is wild, just wait. Just wait until we get to the Shadow Medallion. That's gonna blow your mind. It's. It's so nutty. Like, it's so nutty. There are so many things broken about that game. It's crazy, man. I cannot wait! Cannot wait for you guys to see it. It's gonna be great. But, yeah, guys, I'm so excited. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks so much for hanging out. Guys, again, new merch, new merch on the website. Go check it out. Um, definitely, I think some of my favorite designs are up right now. I'm very excited about them. Um, new merch on the way. We've got, uh, I think it should be here. It'll, it'd be, it'll be here next week, I think, or later this week. But definitely next week. In time for the April 1st stream. And I can't wait. It's a very limited item. Depending on how well it sells, there might be more. But as of right now, it's extremely limited. But we shall see what it is. We shall see. Um, That's it. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you on Thursday, which is March 28th, man. What is that about? That is just... That is just mad. Okay, we're going to end off with a bit of um, Shadow Medallion. Because I just, I love this track. I love this game. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye. And happy birthday, Tori.